I want to talk about life. Many people refer to life as a journey. But I think of life more as constant self-maintenance. You have the daily cycle. And what are you doing during that daily cycle? Maintenance. Um, you have to eat throughout the day, you have to sleep at night, um, you have to bathe and uh, wash your hands and you need to use the bathroom. And so you're doing this, these things throughout the day. That's the, the, the physical maintenance. So, you're doing all of these maintenances throughout the day. Then, in the long term, you need to... You, you need money for this, so you do the job. Whatever it is, that job that you do that brings you money. And that's maintenance, because you need to maintain your life and get all the things that you need to maintain. And, and emotional, emotionally, if you're feeling really crappy, what do you need? Maintenance. You need to sit down with yourself or a therapist uh, and sort out what's wrong. Or meditate. And that's maintenance. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of maintenance going on. I'd say much more emphasis on the main, I would put much more emphasis on the maintenance rather than the journey. Because what is the journey? There's all these things built on maintenance. I guess the journey would be, would be how your personality develops through all of this emotional maintenance and also how your relationships develop over time and how your career develops. So that would be the, the journey. Or if you travel, then it's a literal journey if you travel a lot, which is kind of rare, I think, that people travel a lot unless you have a lot of money. Um, but yeah, maintenance. But let's go back to the journey for a little bit. You got the career journey. Uh, which some people have, some people don't. Some people do a job, a routine job. Most people, I think, do a routine job, and that's not really much of a journey. Um, but some people try to achieve um, status or um, something like that, and it means a lot to them, their career journey. For me, it's not so important um, right now, because I'm one of the, I'm a routine guy right now. I don't know if I'll ever have a career journey, but we'll see. Then there's the relationship journey, which, yeah, that, that develops. Some people, really, people come in and out of your life, and that's really the relationship journey. People come in and out of your life. Each relationship has its own journey. Um, each re relationship has a time period, maybe about five years, and you get to know this person on an emotional uh, level. You have this journey with this person, or and multiple people, and then uh, they go about their life. You get out of touch usually, and then and then 
and then that's it. You meet new people and hang out with them for a little while. But what's the reason for relationships? Maintenance. Because we're social creatures. And if we're too antisocial or 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 not social, we begin to feel it and that begins to wear on us, most people anyway. And we need to maintain our emotional state through people. A positive emotional state through people. A lot of people would like to think that people's approval doesn't matter. And uh, people generally besides themselves don't matter. But it's not true. Um, people matter to people. And what people think think matters to a lot of people if not everybody so that, that even relationships are maintenance and how is it maybe maybe even careers are maintenance too maybe ego maintenance could be you want status and you have a hole in yourself because you need more and more status so you're trying to fill that hole which is kind of emotional maintenance and then when, when it's all over when you're done maintaining yourself through these daily cycles and you, you're done with the physical maintenance and the emotional maintenance then you die. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> oh man. All right. So that's that's how I think of life more in terms of maintenance as opposed to a straight line journey it's more of a cycle and it's more maintenance oriented okay see ya